We're in the barn above the tavern. This is where the paranormal energies are said to be the strongest. And over the years, there have been many entities that have shown themselves. A man in a top hat and a little girl named Emily. Legend has it she died in a fire here in the 1800s. In the kitchen, things have been known to fly off the shelf. Anna Brown has been a cook at Jameson Tavern for 17 years. She can't forget the day a box of plastic wrap came flying right at her. Literally flew off there and hit me in the shoulder. And those are pretty heavy a few. Somebody doesn't like you. I think she, well, she's childish. She's childish. She plays games. Picture this. Owner Tom picture, Hinks can picture, vouch for that. He's seen hallway, and heard a thing or this. two. Banging on the other side of his office wall one night. He thought it was one of his employees playing a joke. I hear that coming, so I jump out of my chair and I'm going to go. <gasps> and there's nobody there. You figure. It's 1130 at night. It's dark. And I'm going to tell you. He's seen employees run screaming from the barn where the dry goods used to be stored. One girl, her hair kept on getting pulled. And not, not pulled hard, just hugged. Like... Somebody trying to get their attention. You know what I mean? They eventually quit. It was done with that. This is a hot spot. Sonny Robinson is a self proclaimed psychic medium. He also worked as a cook at the tavern 15 years ago. He had a vision of a man in this window. I believe somebody was hung here. I've seen it, him. He's been hiding over there so he can hear us. I can, he's not really talking. He's scurrying around and watching us, but I can communicate with that energy. As we speak, it's it's here now. It's and you ask him to show us a sign. Um, I, I can. I, you know, it, it's it's our free will. The clanking of the pots and pans. That's just the employees going about business as usual here. Everybody wondering if the day will ever come when these spirits who called this place home will ever, ever cross, cross over to the other, the other side. side. In Freeport, Jim Keith, WWW,